So if you're looking for an iPhone right now, I think it's pretty clear, based on what we've seen at Apple's event here at the Steve Jobs Theater, that the iPhone 11, no longer the XR or the XR2, is the one for most people. I laugh a bit because the names have changed a lot over the years. It's a little hard to keep track of. There was no iPhone 9, for instance. But the iPhone 11 is really the iPhone XR2 or the XR2. And it looks like a really great phone for its price. What you got here are a lot of the features that are in the more expensive iPhone 11 Pro. In fact, most of the ones I think I would be looking for. It's got a better processor, A13 Bionic, which is supposed to be faster. It's got better battery life. And the 10R already had great battery life. This promises an hour more. And it's got a better front-facing camera, which can now do wider angle for selfies and has a slow-mo mode. And the rear camera is 12 megapixel. It now has two of them. But it's not telephoto. It's wide angle and ultra wide angle. So what those two do are pull back for more dramatic photos. And those cameras are the same ones that are on the Pro model. One thing I didn't even get into with this, but is not really easy to demo here, is night mode, which will take night photos with the type of low light photography that Google showed off a bit last year. And I'm really looking forward to on this phone. There's an example of night mode off. There's an example of it on. And that works for photo and video. So that could be a really big game changer in and of itself. You'll need the new phone to be able to do that. I would have liked telephoto because I really use telephoto a lot when taking photos. Instead, when you take photos with the iPhone 11, you're gonna zoom back. So you can see that right here, what that looks like. And you can also dial up an in-between level of zoom. So that's super dramatic ultra wide angle. And then you can do a little digital zoom. And you can also just see how the two work right there. There's also a new mode uh, in the software that allows you to start recording a video just by pressing and holding, which will be really nice for capturing all those kid moments that I always seem to miss. Not only does it have a new cameras on the back, but Apple promises new computational photography features, including one called Deep Fusion that's coming later in the year that it's going to combine multiple shots into a super shot that's going to have better detail and better quality and kind of provide like the ultimate photo. That's the sort of thing we've seen from a lot of Apple's camera technology. Both the 11 and the iPhone 11 Pro have that. This has a similar hand feel to the iPhone XR, and if I may note, it feels lighter than the iPhone 11 Pro and iPhone 11 Pro Max. So that's nice, but it's aluminum with a glass back and not a frosted glass back, if you're keeping notes on design. Not stainless steel, but I kind of like the lighter touch of this. I feel like it doesn't feel quite as dense, and I appreciate that. Those are the key camera advantages, and you're also talking about speed gains and some battery gains. There's still lightning on the bottom, not USB-C, Apple is providing an 18-watt charger that's coming with the Pro, but not with this phone. You have to get that separately. Sorry, that's what 699, that's what 699 gets you for a phone. But the price has dropped compared to the 10R, and the 10R has dropped in price and is still available. The iPhone 8 has dropped in price and is still available. But this sets itself up as the $700 do-it-all phone that Apple wants you to get. There are also new colors because these are all multicolored now. Green and purple are the two new colors, which I like. Goodbye to coral, goodbye to blue. Now, the durability on the glass is supposed to be better. Water resistance is supposed to be better. And that's what you're getting with the iPhone 11. Is that for you? Do you wait? This is another update. And keep in mind that if reports out there, which are just reports about what Apple may be planning next year, could be some sort of massive step with 5G, who knows? Right now, this isn't an incremental sequel, but a very good one to what the iPhone XR provided. We're we'll have to see how it performs in a full review. That's the story here, and hopefully how to break down which of these three phones to get, or whether you just stay put with your other phone, or get another model, or do what you will. Apple also announced a new iPad and an Apple Watch, plus its services like Apple TV Plus and Arcade. We're diving into it all at the Steve Jobs Theater. I'm Scott Stein here in Cupertino.